Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Though we all love to croon and can carry a tune, we can't hit the notes way up high. Hi! Hey, I was just reading a story about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Do you know that story? You do? Well, this, this one's a little bit different because Corey Rosen Schwartz and Beth Colton, they took the story of the Three Bears and changed it to make it a new story. It's called Goldie Rocks and the Three Bears. And it's all about the three bears. They're a band, and they're looking for a lead singer. Isn't that fun? Did you know you can do that too? You can take a story that is familiar, that you know really well, and change it up a little bit and make it a whole new story. Aren't books great? I know, they're so much fun. Hey, you might enjoy this story. You can look for it on Sora or at your Fresno County Public Library, and I hope you will. I'm Mrs. Hammock, and I'm so happy you're here with me today in our PBS classroom. You know, it's time for us to check our Sora countdown to see who is in the number five spot for this week. So let's see who's been checking out the most books in Fresno Unified. All right, in the number five spot, we have Mayfair, Mayfair Elementary School. Way to go, Mayfair. That is great news. I don't think I've seen you on our top five before. Congratulations. I hope you stay on our top five for a long time. All right, you guys, you ready? It's time for us to train our ears for sound. Today, we are going to do something that you are very familiar with. We're going to identify and generate rhyme. So identify means I'm gonna tell you some words and you are going to tell me if they rhyme. And then generate means you're going to, that's right, think of another word that rhymes. Um, before we get started though, I forgot something super important. Do you have an activity book? Would you like one? Hey, all you need to do is send me a letter here in our PBS classroom. Send it to the address on the screen. You can even send an email. Make sure you include your home address so that I can send you one of our activity books. I look forward to hearing from you. I think you'll really like it. All right, let's get back to our generating rhyme, identifying rhyme. Are you ready? Let, let's just remind our brains about what rhyme is. So hurt, shirt, they both say ert. Did you hear that? They have the ending sound that's the same. So I'm gonna give you a list of three words. Two of them rhyme, but one does not. I want you to tell me which, word, which words rhyme. Do you think you can do it? I know you can. All right, here we go. Make, far, scar. Far, scar, they both say are. Great job. Can you think of another word that rhymes with far and scar? Jar, great thinking. You are really good at this. All right, let's try another one. Are you ready? Heard, chirp, third. Heard, chirp, third. Right, heard and third, they both say erd. Terrific. Can you generate a rhyme for me? What rhymes with herd and third? Oh, I hear you. Great job. That's right. Bird rhymes with herd and third. You are amazing. I'm so glad you are training your ears for sound. You are getting really good at that. All right, this week we have a new spelling, sound spelling card that we're gonna look at and four, I know, four sound spellings. It's gonna be tricky, so you're gonna need to come every day so we can really learn it. 
let's take a look right here at our shirt card. Do you hear the er sound? Okay, so er can be spelled in four different ways. The shirt card helps us think about that er sound. Now on the card, we listed them the way that they are most common. That means most of the time when you hear er, you're gonna think about the er. Er says er. Say that with me. Er says er. Great job. And then second, you might think about the ir. Ir says er. Say that with me and write it down if you have a pencil. I. R says er. Good job. All right. You are also says er. Let's say it. You are says er. Terrific. And once in a while, not often, but once in a while, OR says er. Say that with me. OR says er. Great job. So if you're writing or reading a word with these letter combinations, I want you to remember the shirt card because that's going to help you remember what sound to make. All right, let's take a look. I have some words for us to read using the different sound spellings for this week. Today, we're just going to practice blending them. And then later this week, you're going to get a chance to help me build some words. Are you ready? Okay, here is our ER, and I have this word. What does this first phoneme say? The H says, ah, good. And ER says, er. So let's say it together. Ah, er, her. Terrific. I know you've read that word before, right? All right, let's try the next one. Now we have the er sound in the middle of the word. Let's start here. G says, g, er. All right, let's put it together slowly. G girl. Girl. Great job. Terrific. So we have her and girl. Do you hear the er sound in both of those words? Even though they're spelled differently, they both have the same sound. Let's look at the UR. So UR says er. Here is our C. Do you remember what sound that makes? Yep. K er. B, curb, curb, great. And our last one, what is this letter? Yes, W, and what is the phoneme for W? W, w, er, d, word, great job. I'm gonna tell you a little secret about the O-R says er card. Often, when you see um, the O-R, with the W in front of it, it's going to say the er sound. And we're going to take a look more at that this week. But most of the time when OR says er, it follows a W. So keep that in mind as we work this week and see if that's true. I bet you'll find out that it is. All right, let's take a look at some reading. Let me get my reading finger and let's read some words using all of those sound spellings. Are you ready? Okay, I helped you out by putting them all in a row with the same and underlining them so you can see them. Uh, these are called R controlled vowels because the R is kind of being bossy and he's telling the vowel to say a completely different sound. So he's controlling the sound of the vowel. That's why they all say er. Isn't that crazy? I know, so crazy. All right, here we go. H, er, her. V, herb, verb. Cl, er, k, clerk. Good. B, erd, bird. F, erst, first. That's like you. You're in first grade. D, ert, dirt. Sh, Ert shirt. How'd you do? We're just going to read those two rows today because we're going to come back tomorrow and read some more. We'll add on to what we're learning. All right. Are you ready to learn your high frequency words for this week? We have six 
That's right. So let's take a look at them. Here we go. All right. This word is through. Say it with me. Through. Let's spell it together. T H R O U G H. Through. The bird flew through the window. Good. How about this one? Poor. Say it. Good. Now let's spell it. P O O R. Poor. Good. The poor boy hurt his arm. How about this one? Climb. Climb. Say it. Climb. Good. Spell it with me. And if you have something to write with, write it down. C L I M B. What do you notice about this word? Climb. Right. You don't hear the B, do you? See how tricky things, words can be? How about this one? Another. Another. A N O T H E R. You're right. I heard the er sound at the end. Great job. Another. I'd like another piece of pie. All right. How about this one? Full. Say it. Good. Spell it. F U L L. Full. Oh, I am so full from that second piece of pie. And this word is great. This is what you are. G R E A T. Great. All right. I have some sentences here that I've put our, our high frequency words in. Let's take a look at them and you think about how you could use these words in a sentence that you write. Okay, here we go. This park, ooh, look, there's the AR from last week. This park is great. So let's walk through it. Did you see him? Yeah, great and through, good job. The poor dog needs a bath. All right, there's our word poor. The cat will climb another tree. Ooh, we have climb and another. The glass was not full. There's our word full. How'd you do? Great job. Boys and girls, this week we're going to be working on the shirt card with all of the spellings. E-R, I-R, U-R, and O-R. They're kind of tricky because there's four of them that make the same sound and I want you to come back so we can practice together all week long. I have a few stories we're going to share. It's going to be great learning. Come back so you can learn all the skills and practice them so that you can be excellent readers and writers. Goodbye now, goodbye now, the clock says we're done. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.